Hello, it's Cubby here with Scruffy Kins and his girlfriend Kiara. And we are going to tell you about 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 the Great Mass by Septic Flesh. It was released on Season of Mists in some year, a couple of years ago. Yep, I know, informative. They are a Greek band and they are generally of the black metal persuasion, sort of blacky, death metal -y pers pers persuasion. I can't speak today. And uh, I got this album because it was recommended as a really good example of stuff. Well, The Great Mass is an album that totally and utterly blew me away! Ha ha ha! Like this, woo! It's amazing, it really really is. It's uh, black metal and death metal and an entire 80 piece orchestra all thrown in together with singing vocals and all sorts of stuff. It really is fantabulously amazing. Uh, the band play their instruments like you expect but then they throw curveballs in everywhere here and there all over the place there's one really good bit in pyramid god where it's all sort of like and you know metally and then it stops and then it's just like bass and drums and it sort of levels out and you're like oh i wasn't expecting that and then oh where's it gonna go they also do things like Oceans of Grey, which starts off with violins and strings, and it's all like, oh, where's this gonna go? Ooh. Anticipation uh, is increased, and then you're like, oh, oh, and then blast beats. It's just like, whoa! It really is cool. Really, really cool. There's another song. Um, I've forgotten the name of which song it is, but it's really cool. Uh, it sort of starts with this really cool riff, and then it stops, and then it goes into blast beats. But you're you're just not expecting it because the riff is so cool. You think they're going to carry it on for longer, and they just don't, because that would be normal. It would also be expected, which is boring. Another cool thing about the album is there's a slight sort of in the sung vocals. There's like a slightly sort of 80s. Uh, the David Bowie sound to the song vocals which is interesting because they managed to put that in there as well and all these other sounds that you just shouldn't go together they just meld so brilliantly together there's some like 80s keyboard sounds that opens up one of the other songs I do believe that that is a great mass of death that does that and it's really cool. And to top it all off, they've got this really cool album art, which I think is awesome. And it goes well with the whole theme of the album. Another th cool thing that they've done really well is they've explained the meaning behind the lyrics, along with the lyrics. Yeah, it's totally mind-blowing. It's worth getting. If there was ever an example of metal and classical music being combined together perfectly it would be this album it is pristine beyond all reason I am gobsmacked by it it's that good Production wise, well, it was produced by Peter Tagren and Septic Flesh themselves, and they've given it a fairly clean sound. It's not overly produced, however, it's still got some edge to it. They've also managed to do the impossible task of mixing everything so that everything can be heard. 
the strings in the orchestra sit really snugly, perfectly in the guitars, just behind them or just above them, depending on what the band was going for at that particular point. Also, when there's minimalist parts where it's like just the bass and the drums or something, there is walls of space. It doesn't just sort of boom like this, it stays where it was in the mix to begin with and it, it really adds to the atmosphere of the album. It gives it really dynamic sounds. Yes, it does. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about it really. It's just phenomenal. You really should check it out. Anyone who's interested in how these things combine, this is probably the best place to start. are that this album is an absolute masterpiece beyond all reason and beyond all argument it really is phenomenal it takes a couple of listens to let it all sink in because there's a lot going on but there isn't at the same time there's, there's, there's just undescribable but there aren't words for it it's that good I really am impressed with this album I had one of their other albums and I thought it was good but this just blew me away Everything about it is perfect, it really is phenomenal. So really the bad points are there aren't really any bad points, except maybe that it's too short. It is only 43 minutes long. However, I think if it was longer it would take away some of that perfection. Time for poor rating. We are going to give it... 20 paws out of 10. Yes, that's right, 20. It's that good that I can't even just give it 10. It really is. It's going to go in my favourites at some point. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Double paw, so it's 20. <laughs> Last but not least, the most important question of all. Can you dance to this album while drunk? Undoubtedly yes, is my opinion. I think I could. Because I have a new dance. I call it Blast Beat Swan. The end. Thank you for watching. I've been Cubby. This has been Kiara. And this has been Scruffykins, aka Kobu. Thank you, bye.